Hi everyone and welcome to episode number one of our brand new Road to Rank Roulette series. I'm so excited to finally be here. We've been throwing the idea around on the channel for the last couple of weeks and I did ask you guys to get involved as well by nominating a single Pokemon to throw onto a roulette wheel to make up a team of six Pokemon that we're going to be taking forward now for the next couple of weeks and we'll be keeping that two week cycle as we go forward. So we'll get to the selections in a minute but I just need to give each and every one of you a huge shout out for suggesting and nominating all of these Pokemon. It's been really great going through the list and adding them to the roulette wheel and just hoping maybe that one will come out. So I'm hoping that you guys will be excited by the team that we've got going forward. It's going to be entertaining, it's going to be a lot of fun and we're doing this now because we're getting to the point where the VGC season, the competitive season is coming to a slow end. We've got Worlds coming up in the summer but other than that not too many official events going on and we don't know the rules yet for the 2020 season so I will just say once we do get the rules for the 2020 season we will be coming full force back with our daily competitive series where we'll be hitting um, competitive viable teams pretty hard and exploring lots of archetypes to show you guys and help you along the way in the format so I'm guessing I don't know, best guess would be maybe we get the rules carried over until November when we see Sword and Shield released and then we'll get some new rules that'll kick in shortly after that. But who knows, the Pokemon company can throw a curveball at us and give us some brand new rules to take us up to November or Christmas, whatever it is, which might be very exciting. And as soon as that does happen, like I say, we'll put a plug in this series. We'll probably keep carried on, but do it very sporadically and then hit the competitive side of things hard once again. So get into this series though like I say we're gonna be throwing Pokemon into a roulette wheel selecting us randomly and to give us a little bit of a lifeline what I've thought of because we're not gonna be building really solid teams here we're basically putting a random bunch of Pokemon together that you guys enjoy seeing or your favorite Pokemon which I am really looking forward to doing but we're going up against very competitive Pokemon teams good builds archetypes so we're a little bit of a disadvantage. So to give ourselves a little bit of a lifeline here, I've created some rules that we can activate. They're all down in the description below, but I'll briefly go over a few of them now. So we give ourselves a little bit of a helping hand with three roulette bonus buttons that we can activate throughout the two week period. We cannot activate them within the first two episodes of a two week cycle. So episode three, starting in a two week cycle, we can activate them at any point after that and we can only use each button once. So the three buttons that we've got, we've got button number one, which is the legend maker, which will allow us to Select any restricted Pokemon that is allowed in the format. We'll throw them into a roulette wheel, we'll spin it, and we'll select one. But it's a double-edged sword because we have to lose the best performing member of our team at that point. So it's not ideal, but we do get a restricted uh, for a uh, one of the better performing Pokemon in our team. But that does help, hopefully, even up the score. Because we're not always going to have two restricteds. We have to make rules where we have to have at least one restricted in our team. Um, but we don't always have two Pokemon that are restricted in our team. So we might be at a disadvantage that way. So we've got the Legend Maker button. Then the second button is the Randomizer Switch Up. So a Switch Up is I can select any Pokemon from the party to take out and then we can spin the wheel from your nominations and select a brand new one to put in there and then the third one is the complete randomizer which is we select a random Pokemon from the roulette wheel from our team of six take it out and then spin again and select a new one to bring in so there are three we can only use them once throughout a two week cycle if you've got ideas for bonus buttons that we can use throughout this two week cycle throughout this series do let me know i'm really open to suggestions from you guys but we are finally here thank you so much to all the nominations that we've had from you guys without further ado let's unveil the team that we're going to be playing for the next two weeks on the channel hope you enjoy <laughs>
<laughs> so as you can see, these are the team of six that we're going to be taking forward into the first week or two weeks of this series, which is going to be a lot of fun. So we've had suggestions, as you can see the comments on your screen right now. We've had Will suggesting Chandelier. Watch me twice with that shuckle. Then we've got the uh, Sogaleo from Zed Hoffman, Superior from Div Dax, Mega Houndoom from Player Door, and Mantine from Nappy. So it's not the most cohesive of teams, but it does look a lot of fun. I guess what we'll do is I can unveil it on the uh, the actual cart now so here it is I've put the team together as always the team is down in the description below there is a roll paste a poker paste you can check it out try it out if you'd like to or throw some suggestions here to make going forward in this week because there are no rules about changing items or changing move sets on these Pokemon going forward we can do that at any point we want um, and uh, it's just about changing these Pokemon but thank you so much for all the suggestions keep the suggestions coming I'm gonna start a new poll very soon for the next two week cycle that we'll be doing in this series so keep an eye out for that I will let you know when it goes up and do get your suggestions in and if you were unlucky not to get suggestion this time I do hope that you get selected in the next one that we do so without further ado guys let's get some music on and let's hop on to the ladder. I can't believe. I mean, this team looks mad. I mean, what are our opponents going to think? What are our opponents going to think? I think we need to get into the right team. <coughs> the right screen here. So here we are. Got our first opponent already. Didn't even get a chance to click in music. But nevertheless, let's hop over to team preview. So our first opponent today is running a team of Xerneas, Kyogre, Mimikyu, Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Shilinja. Right, here we go. So, what are we going to do? Um, the Xerneas obviously is a big threat. And uh, one of the things we can potentially try and do is set up a trick room with Chandelier. We've got a little bit of breathing room around that Incineroar that is threatening us heavily. But at the same time... Uh, we can try and get a trick room up there. Or do we try with Sogaleo? Because Sogaleo, uh, we don't have trick room, of course. We've got the Z splash with it. So that's one of the things that we have to keep in mind. So do we go down a trick room route first? Or do we not go down a trick room route and go down a tailwind route? Um, one of the things we could potentially do is go Mantine and Sogaleo. Oh, I just feel like the trick room route is just a better route to go. I'm going to go Chandelier and I'm going to go Sogaleo. I'm definitely bringing Mantine to this and I think we'll go Shuckle because we're going down a trick room route. Uh, Superior would be very good here. Um, especially, there's no Sok though, so I think, like on the Shininja, so I think we might be alright. And Shuckle's got that rock slide, so it will hit the Shininja for. Super effective damage. Oh, what are we going to do? What is this team? <laughs> I'm kind of excited. I'm excited and I'm scared at the same time. Like, I just... I know we're going to be able to find some real gems doing this. It's going to be really good. It's going to be good. And at the end of the day, <laughs> we'll see how we get on. So we're going to see Kyogre. We're going to see Mimikyu come out. Uh, to lead with here. Um, now we do have wide guard on Sogaleo, so we can wide guard turn one in, in trick room. Um, we could just sun steel strike the Mimikyu. I'm a little bit worried about the Kyogre getting a full power water spout off, though. That's the only thing. Um, I'm gonna trick room. Or oh, do I trick room? Do I trick room? And white guard. I could white guard. Uh... Yeah, because we've, we've got Mantine in the back. So we've got Mantine to bring in. We can we can do some stuff. I'm just going to white guard here. Expecting the Kyogre to go for Origin Pulse of Water Spout. There we go. Okay. We've got the Ghost Resist Berry on the Chandelier. So if we do see... Oh, we're going to see... Oh, Trick Room, Trick Room, Trick Room. Okay. So we'll just, <clears throat> they're going for Trick Room, we're going for Trick Room. Um, do I bring a Mantine now? Could bring in Mantine. 
I don't think we're gonna see another water spout from the Kyogre, but you can never be too sure about this. Uh, let's bring in Mantine. Um, do we go Z Splash? That's the only thing. I could go Z Splash right now. Or I could just go Sunseal Strike into the Mimikyu. We should be able to just nuke it if it does decide to go for that. Um, I think the Kyogre is not going to go for that. I'm going to go Sunseal Strike into the Mimikyu. Or do I get... Am I being a bit greedy? And then... No, we'll go for the Sunseal Strike into the Mimikyu. <clears throat> I'm going to say that the Kyogre doesn't go for a Water Spout. Goes Shadow Sneak. Okay, that's fine. So, this should hit through the Disguise, I'm pretty sure, with how this move works. Could be saying it now. No, it does, yeah. So we get it. Okay, we get rid of the Mimikyu. It's all about if we see a water spout. Origin Pulse. So, at least Mantine gets a bit of health back. We know the Kyogre's only got... Oh, we dodge as well. We dodge. <laughs> Things are going alright for us. <laughs> okay. Okay, Xerneas coming in. This isn't the worst. Because we've got, we got Wide Guard with, um, with Mantine. So, we've got double Wide Guard that we can go for here. Uh, let's go Z-Splash. Because we know the Kyogre's got nothing it can hit us with. The, the Xerneas has gone Protect. Okay, we're going to be able to get this working. I can't believe that this might be working. Depends if the Kyogre has Thunder, but... Uh, we'll, we'll soon find out. So, Z-Splash. It's raining. So, here we go. <laughs> that gives us a plus three boost. There's the water spout, the wide guard. Okay, so the Xerneas is pretty screwed right now. The the Kyogre can't really do anything because of the wide guard support. Uh, we'll go wide guard again. And I'll just I'll just do this and steel strike into the the Xerneas. Uh, if it switches out, whatever comes in is going to take a, an absolute ton of damage. But the Kyogre might, might, <clears throat> does it have Ice Beam? If it had Thunder, it would have went for it now. But we do have the Whacking Barrier on Mantine. We got a little bit fortunate with that Origin Pulse miss, for sure. We're going to see Incineroar come in. Let's see how much a plus three Sunsteel Strike does to this Incineroar. There's the Intimidate. We do have to be a bit careful around the... Um, Okay, the Kyogre just protecting here. Doesn't want to take any damage. Um, there's obviously the Fake Out coming this next turn, which is a little bit awkward, but I mean, other than that, it, we should be fine. Um, we could double Wide Guard if we wanted, but I don't know. It's just Sogaleo doesn't have. Um, oh, do we Superpower? We wide guard, and then we'll superpower the Kyogre. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I think if you if you fake out Mantine, you're getting rid of the wide guard. Then we'll attack the Kyogre before it can attack. If you attack, if you fake out the Mantine to prevent a wide guard, yeah, we're not going to see that unless this Incineroar has the Z move, which might not be good. Okay, we're going to see fake out. Yeah, okay. But, uh, yeah, this is the thing. We're, like, just covering our bases because we've got the protection there. So, it's all right. We're stopping this Kyogre from doing anything now. Um, I'm not going to go Super Power into the Incineroar. I'm going to go Sunsteel Strike again. And I'm just going to just, like, Wide Guard. There's no reason not to Wide Guard here. Because this Kyogre, literally, it's only moves that it can touch us with. Oh, the attack set is getting blocked by White Guard. So this is why White Guard's such a good move. And we've got it twice here. We could maybe full guard, but it does give us a bit more flexibility. I feel when when we've got both options there. Um, Man times move set. That was a really tricky one. Like I was thinking maybe Scald could be good there. Um, it probably is a better option than than Icy Wind, to be honest. 
an ice beam as well. So that's something we might change up for our next one. But Xenia's gonna head back in now. And we'll just send Steel Strike the Xenia. So I don't want to get punished for leaving it alone and allowing it to get the Geomancy set up. Uh, like we've seen, like we don't really need to worry about the Kyogre at all. So we'll just go that wide guard button once again. We'll go some steel strike. Like the my opponent might protect Xerneas and try and attack with Kyogre, but they do that and it's not really doing very much. So we might. It looks like we could pick up the first first victory of this episode with this team. Yeah, there's a the protect. Yeah, why God? Just why God? Mantine is a beast. It's like a mini, mini Kyogre, isn't he? There's another water spot. You're gonna run out of water spots soon as well, so it will be just Origin pulses. Uh, we will be able to get the Xerneas now, but we don't want to take any damage from that Kyogre. Our Sunsteel strikes are running out as well. That's the other thing we need to keep an eye on that. But plus three. I wonder how much that'll do to Kyogre. It's got to do around 50%, I would say. I would like to think it does about 50%. I mean, it did a huge chunk to Incineroar, right? So let's see uh, what my opponent's going to do. They might forfeit, knowing that there's not really much they can do here. But we will see, we will see. Ah, oh, come on. Double protect. At this point though, my opponent is really kind of just, oh, they're going ice beam, they're going down the, re the freezing. I mean, you probably would have, should have done this a lot earlier, really, to try and just chip away. Um, yeah, we'll just do the same again. The Xerneas isn't going to get three protects. Now I've said it. It's going to get three. But yeah, I think... Uh, and there's the, the the forfeit. Ruining our first game, but we do take a victory. Sogaleo, just the thing. So, Vincenzo. A little bit disappointed, my friend. We haven't even got a viable team. <laughs> and you forfeit. Oh, well. We will put that on the win. We'll keep a little tally somewhere down here of win record. So we're 1-0 at the minute. We'll continue battling and get into our next one. That dragged on way too long, didn't it? And we can choose some music. Uh, let's go for... Um, uh, enter the Ultra Beasts. Let's do that one. So... Yes, I hope you guys had a great weekend as well, whatever you're up to. Uh, if you were at the North American International Championships or if you were viewing at home, do let me know what you thought of the tournament. Uh, I'm pre-recording before finals, so I don't know who actually won yet. I know that um, the finalists, but I don't know who's won just yet. Um, but I've not really caught too much of it. I would have liked to have seen a lot more, but I've just not had the time to... Uh, to watch it unfortunately but it's uh, it's been the matches that I have watched have been incredibly good it looks like it's been such a fun event and uh, if you weren't there or weren't watching and you're up to something else at the weekend do let me know what you're up to I'd love to hear I hope you all had a great weekend though um, we're just going to search for our next opponent hopefully it doesn't take too long if it does as always we'll just cut it and come straight back with some more crazy roulette action and we've got Google Google as our next opponent the ultimate knowledge base in all of the world. Let's jump into team preview. Okay, so our next opponent is running a team of Incineroar, Tapu Koko, Kyogre, Rayquaza, Ferrothorn, and Crobat. So, I think one of the hardest matchups for this team is Rayquaza, to be honest. Uh, it is very difficult to play around, but uh, it's not the worst. Uh, it's not the best, though, at all. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, I think Mantine and Sogaleo. Do we want to go for a late game trick room? Um, I think I'd bring Superior to this one and then Mega Hound Doom, honestly. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Superior is really good against Kyogre in general. Um, 
It's not so great against anything else, but the fact that Houndoom can do a lot to the likes of Ferrothorn and Crobat, and it also has Destiny Bond as well to give us a little bit of an edge somewhere, it can do that. Um, the other option we could go is Trick Room and Shuckle. But I feel like this is probably the better way to go at the minute. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Shuckle would be good. I feel like we need something to help set a, a more solid trick room up. Like, um, Chandelier is our main trick room setter, right? So, yeah, it can't be faked out. But our partner who provides like the, the, the biggest and most important protection and the Y God supporter cannot cannot avoid the fake out. So we kinda need fake out of our own really to so contend with leads like this, you know. Uh, we could double wide guard because we're gonna see a protect from somewhere, aren't we? Um I just wonder where you're gonna protect uh, like where you're gonna fake out because I mean you probably fake out the Sogaleo, right? I just don't want to take water spout damage so early on here. Um, is double wide guarding the wrong thing to do? I mean, we'll probably wide guard before the fake out anyway. It's the same priority bracket, right? Um, so we can wide guard with Mantine, and I think we can Z splash. We can Z splash. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for that. And yeah, we should get the Y guard up before the fake out. So, outside of Origin Pulse, Water Spout. Not. Oh, we need to click. We need to click in. I didn't even click in. I wasn't even sure myself. So, there's the Y guard. Mantine. Being the beast that you are. Fake out. Yay! <laughs> Zay Splash! And we're faster than the Kyogre, which is incredible. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully the Kyogre has went for Water Spout. There you go, Splish Splash, Sogaleo. There's the Water Spout. Excellent. Excellent. Um, alright. Do we nuke the, 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 the Incineroar now? And just wide guard again. I think that's probably the best thing to do. We'll just go super power. Super power into Incineroar. Um, <clears throat> whatever comes in is taking a plus three super power. It's going to get damaged pretty badly. I'd imagine like the Kyogre could go for Scald here if it's got access to it for sure. Um, it might protect though. I think it probably protect more than anything else. Kyogre actually just switching out rather than sticking around. The rain is lifted. A Ferrothorn coming out. Ferrothorn, something else that doesn't like to take a superpower. We could have superpowered that slot. I'm going for a, a pretty useless wide guard here, but at the same time, you've got to imagine that the uh, the Rayquaza is in the back. I think. Bye bye, Incineroar. We don't really need the overkill there with the plus three, but <clears throat> things are all right. We got Superior in the back, remember as well to help us with that Kyogre, and then um, also if it comes down to an end game of. <clears throat> Kyogre and Ferrothorn. <coughs> so sorry. My hair fever is like terribly bad at the minute. Um, what we'll do is we'll Icy Wind. Or do we, do we, do we, do we? Yeah, we'll Icy Wind and we'll Super Power into Ferrothorn. Um, or do we Sun Seal Strike into the Rayquaza? Um... We're kind of tempted just to send your strike into the Rayquaza because once Rayquaza's down and the end game is that Ferrothorn and the Kyogre, then Superior and Houndoom can win because we can worry seed the Kyogre and then and then overheat kill the Ferrothorn. Although it's kind of dicey doing it like that, really. We probably could have There's a Dragon Ascent. Where are you going? Where are you going? Into Mantine. <clears throat> Come on, Mantine. Survive this. No! Mantine! Please be life or Bray or something. Ah, oh, I don't like this. 
It's not too bad though. We got Houndoom to come in. Um, and it at least speed ties with Rayquaza. Yeah, it is sashed. It's a pity we don't have. Oh, there's a Leech Seed. Uh, I mean, there could be worse things. Um, uh, Houndoom, do we bring in and just go for the speed tie with the Rayquaza? And kind of force the Kyogre to come in? I don't think that's too bad an option. Like, honestly. Um, it's better than Superior coming in right now. Let's Mega Evolve. Let's go Dark Pulse into Rayquaza and go Super Power into Ferrothorn. And even if the Kyogre comes back in, as long as we've got Sogaleo on the field, we've got Wide Guard. Uh, so I can't really touch Houndoom. So it's just getting rid of this Rayquaza and Ferrothorn. And if we can catch the Ferrothorn, okay, we're going to see the Ray disappear. We're going to get a free Dark Pulse onto this Kyogre. If this Ferrothorn doesn't protect, though, it's done. I wonder how much a Dark Pulse will do to this Kyogre as well. I'm really interested to see Mega Houndoom. The coolest of all Megas. Well, not all of them, but it is a pretty cool Mega, really. And I'm just saying that because we're using it, obviously. Uh, there's nothing. But we do get the superpower into the, the Ferrothorn. We'll get rid of it. So we get rid of that Leech Seed support there, which is kind of nice. Um, take a little bit of Iron Bob's damage. The defense drop as well. We need to be a little bit careful of, for sure. We could Destiny Bond with Houndoom, couldn't we? So I'm going to do it. I'm going to just Destiny Bond. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. The Hound of Doom is going to bring on the Destiny Bond. We just need, I think, to win a speed tie. Because if the Rick... Ah, uh, hmm. It's kind of risky, though. It is risky because the thing is we can't protect with uh, Sogaleo. Um... Yeah, we need to get rid of the rear. And I think we need to wide guard as well. Just in case we see a water type attack coming out. It protects, it protects, it protects. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Because they're expecting the wide guard to come from Mantine. But they're like, what? How, mu how much wide guard does this person have? Really? Origin Pulse, yeah. I think we'll be, I still think we'll be alright. I think it's not going to be like the easiest. The Leech Seed's not really helping us out massively here. Um, <clears throat> but can we win a speed tie against this Rayquaza? That's the big thing. We'll just go Wide Guard again. Hopefully we see the Ray attack the Sogaleo. No the defensive drops. And that's the, the thing that you want to get rid of. Like we plus one now after the Super Power attacks that we've, we've thrown out too. Come on Houndoom. Be faster than the ray. You can do it. You got like bones on your back. That must make you fast. It's like I don't know that. Come on. Let's do this. Why guard? No, it's gonna be into Houndoom. Ah, oh, we're never taking this. Never in a million years. Ugh. Okay. The Leech Seed. Okay. Uh, right. Getting closer and closer to getting knocked out now by this Rayquaza. Superior, you're our last hope. Losing a speed tie with Rayquaza as well. Hmm. I wonder if a Leech Storm's enough to get the Kyogre at this point. I'm going to just Leaf Storm and I'm going to go Sunsteel Strike into the Ray. Okay, Ray, Ray protecting. I wonder if we see the Kyogre go for an Ice Beam here. Oh, just double protect. Okay. Getting more health back. Yeah, it's putting our, it's putting our Sogaleo into like Dragon Ascent range, I'm pretty sure now. So what we need to bank on, and it's a big bank, is the Rayquaza attacking into Sogaleo, knocking it out, us knocking out the Superior. Oh! 
Okay. Uh, we need to knock out the Kyogre, really. We do. We need to knock out the Kyogre, because if they go... Uh, it depends if they go Origin Pulse, though. They're probably going to go Origin Pulse. If this doesn't knock out... Oh, it's not strong enough. We need an Origin Pulse miss, I think. Unless Sogaleo can take an Origin Pulse from this range. Maybe. If you clicked Water Spout, we're fine. If you clicked Ice Beam, we're fine. Ah, that's the one thing we didn't want. Maybe Sogaleo takes it. Nah. Ah, so close. So close. <laughs> damn. Damn, damn, damn. 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 Good game, Google. You got done by Google. It's a good title for the episode. Well, my friends, it has been very enjoyable. I, it was a bit of a longer start to the episode, just explaining everything. But I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, and uh, I really do hope you enjoy the week as it goes on please leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are on this series going forward what your thoughts are on the roulette bonuses if you've got your own ideas for those or if you think we should switch things up slightly with them or switch things up with the team in general because there's no rules about movesets and things like that and items so hopefully we'll come back tomorrow and have a little bit of success we are 1-1 at the minute Hopefully we can climb up the ladder a bit. But I'm feeling quite good about this team. At least we've got the Z splash off twice today. That's, I mean, that's a success in itself. So we have to be proud of ourselves for that. Thank you so much for tuning in though, guys. I have a great rest of your day. And I will speak to you all again for another episode tomorrow. So until then, take care and bye-bye.